My daughter in her sister, sister.
and the Chaudhary's law and all relatives, the grandchildren, the Thanthi's law and all the others, the sisters, the teachers, the children and all gathered here. You will surely agree that each one of you is here because some hard string has been connected to Diana. I am not giving a formal speech. I speak from the heart and thought flow. You know, you look at the sky and there are very many stars. Suddenly you see a star that is extraordinary, a luminous star, a comet you can say, and you are fascinated. You go to a beautiful garden and your eye fall on some flower, a special flower, beautiful, a rare blue. You are fascinated. You walk along the seashore. As you walk, picking up shells, then you come across a beautiful shell, a rare shell, artistically exquisite. You are fascinated. Ramadhanath Thakur says, there are people, there are children who play at the seashore, build castles, fly kites, and there are others who go boating, joyride. There are fishermen. But only very few dive deep into the sea to look for pearls. Diana was someone very special, not only to my life, you will agree, to each of your life. And being at Holy Cross College, he has taught there for 38 years and 19 years as the vice principal supporting Sister Lady Helen and inspiring all of us. I could say it's a rare miracle that happened to Holy Cross. She was the person of multifaceted talents, capabilities. There are two kinds of people. Many of us wait for things to happen. Others must end up do this, do that. But there are very few who make things happen. And Diana was that. Her children will agree how she has planned intuitively their future. Her sister will agree the family life, the education they received from their parents, he was the many received, but she was someone who practiced what she said. In school, there are so many, we can write volumes of her dedication and commitment. She was a teacher par excellence, a geography teacher whose results were always straight A's. During interval and after interval, I have noticed in the media and detail. She will go near the staff room while some teachers are talking, some tablet go to class. She introduced, do you know? She even took children to her house and trained them for competition. In various ways she has touched. She was concerned even on the personal lives of some children who were not able to pay the fees. Some teachers, she paid for them. Even managers and families were always children. Now when you take Diana's life, and when I look at society today, you know today's society is all shiny, neon lights, the clothes we wear, if the daughter is shining, we something. The mother is shining, mother-in-law is shining, with the big design sari, the grandmother is shining, all are shining. Even their faces, even the ornaments, even in their concerts, all neon lights and things. But the glow which Diana had, not from outside, all that glitters is not gold. The glow is from inner personality. She was a rare person. Like we sang candle in the wind at the death of Princess Diana. She was the candle in the wind, trying to brave the storms of life and still glowing. It is because of her glow that we like moths, like flies, fireflies have been attracted to this person. All of us will leave this day one day. Death is inevitable. But the way you face death, how you live is very important. In her, there was a personification of simplicity. She could have worn grand saris, gold jewelry, but I saw that Diana, only simplicity, unassuming personality, highly intelligent, practical, innovative, not satisfied with doing second land work. Always the best. We should be proud, especially our children, be proud to have such a wonderful mother, a sister, a great sister, sister, we as a teacher, we have dead many of us, all the past few years. We are what to say is because of Diana we can say. When I am a young sister, I learned many things from her way of life. And she has been very supportive to the Helen and all the teachers. We learned recently. That's it.
go through life, we will try to emulate what she says. And two months ago she came and I also had the fortune of coming in Ambitya now, coming from Kandy to Khandana to see her. And I was there in Gihana San and grateful to the sun for bringing her here and fulfilling the desire of meeting many of us, so many teachers, sisters we have met. And before leaving I prayed over her and she was looking at me going towards the head. Before I left she said, Sister Carmela, you know now I have settled everything. I have no desire, no attachment whatsoever. I am ready to go. And we say that. What a beautiful thing. In today's world, we are people who want to accumulate more power, more wealth, more material things. She was somebody who was detached. She has lived her life, biblically 70, 70 for most of them, 80 for those who are strong, actually teaching. God found her over the place and drew her to a nearer person. God had drawn her to his nearer person. And she, for sure, will be an invisible person more powerful than she was in the body. She will not be of your Australia. Now we know she is everywhere. In fact, now we have valued something of Diana, but also valued her personality, self-discipline, priority in life, what comes first, concern, compassion, and all this here. Right? We have to give up there. Page 2. The Lord's Time Shepherd. <coughs> Yeah. 
in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Page 7. Hear my God. 